multi-sensory math. Your child is gifted with a spatial, um, visual spatial mind. They think in pictures, they think in 3D objects. It's really, really helpful for them to do what's called CRA. So CRA is concrete, stuff you touch in your hands. R is the picture, that's what you're looking at here. And A is the abstract, just the numbers. And sadly, most of the instruction in America is mostly A. We've tried and tried and tried to move teachers toward the C and the R, but because of how they were taught and because so many people feel shame about their math abilities, we're struggling as a society to change this because this is the hallmark of good teaching. It is important for all learners. It's essential for our students with dyslexia is multi-sensory math. Your child is gifted with a spatial, um, visual spatial mind. They think in pictures, they think in 3D objects. It's really, really helpful for them to do what's called CRA. So CRA is concrete, stuff you touch in your hands. R is the picture, that's what you're looking at here. And A is the abstract, just the numbers. And sadly, most of the instruction in America is mostly A. We've tried and tried and tried to move teachers toward the C and the R, but because of how they were taught and because so many people feel shame about their math abilities, we're struggling as a society to change this because this is the hallmark of good teaching. It is important for all learners. It's essential for our students with dyslexia. And I just wanted to share with you um, this example of a student that we worked with. So you can see that he started with us in 2018. That's the light blue lines. And we can see this is a eighth grader, by the way. He was performing at a fourth grade level in several areas. And in that short amount of time, for almost a year later, we were able to bump him up almost in every single category. And anywhere we didn't max out, this is maxing out, by the way, and this would be maxing out um, where the, the highest spot the tests go. Um, we would go back and revisit that. But this student is just continually blowing my mind. He was homeschooled. We were able to do this. Um, and then the next year, his family put him in school, in public school, and we thought, surely they're going to test him and put him in the right math. They did not. They dropped him in algebra, <laughs> and we were all holding our breath for that first month of school. We were quite worried about him. But because he had this very strong foundation and the confidence, he continued to just power through a school. He's getting A's. He's doing really well. He maintained that for a whole school year, and now he's into his next school year. He's rocking it. So it's a huge testament for how powerful multisensory math is when we're putting the information in that strength-based way, the visual, spatial, the concrete, and tying it and tethering it to that abstract idea. It helps these students be able to go into their long-term memory, pull it in and use it in a way that's meaningful to them. And so I love to share this data and he's not the only student who has this. This is just the one that I, I continually share. Um, I should pull in several, but we've got lots of kids that have had um, experiences like this. So be sure to check out our case studies. We celebrate the little wins too. Um, if you overcame some math anxiety, we celebrate that with you um, because it really can get in the way. And um, this particular student, I got an update from his mom. He's doing fantastic and everything we've taught him has been retained. He's not losing any of it. He's doing fantastic.